do you need to liven up your deck or concrete patio because it's been weathered or it's aging? Our deck here has a lot of aging that is happening right now, and so we want to spruce it up a little bit. Here's our front deck overall in pretty good condition, so we don't have to do much repairs prior to going here. Maybe a few areas to put some wood filler in. Here is the final look of the deck. Still got some other cleaning to do here, but if we get in real close, you can see that it has a very rough texture and it's filled in most of the holes. The project we're going to be working on today is going to be applying this bare advanced deck over formula. In order to do that, we need to first start off with this all-in-one cleaner. We've actually added an additional step as well by sanding our, our front deck right here. It doesn't actually call for that step in the instructions, but we just want to make sure that everything is really prepped and ready to go for the application of this deck over. The deck over is used to uh, fill in some spaces. So some of the stuff that it says it can do right here, texture or extra textured finish. We're going for the extra textured finish. It says conceals splinters and cracks up to a quarter inch and covers up to 75 square feet in two coats. With this can, it is slip resistant and waterproof coating. So it's gonna allow for uh, extreme protection, it's going to fill in a lot of those cracks that have started happening because of aging and offer really good protection. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris. The directions that we're gonna follow for the application of this advanced deck over is gonna start with replacing rotting or splitting boards. We don't really have any of those right now. Most of ours are in pretty dang good condition so far. So we're gonna leave them in there. Remove any failing coatings. For this, it recommends either the number 63 or number 64 um, wood cleaner. This one is the number 63 that is right here. This is uh, for if we don't have any paint or anything. If you have additional paint and whatnot, then it's recommending the number 64 version of that, which is a little bit more expensive. This particular container was about $10. After you do that cleaning, it says to rinse thoroughly with a garden hose or pressure washer. When rinsing with a pressure washer, use the broadest spray pattern while keeping the nozzle at least 24 inches away from the surface. Allow the area to dry 24 hours under normal dry weather conditions. Additional dry, uh, dry time may be needed. And then if needed, lightly sand to remove any wood fibers or fuzz. Test for loose fibers by applying and removing duct tape on wood surfaces. If fibers are present, sanding is required. After that, we can go ahead and do the application. The concrete surfaces instructions is avoid areas that are structurally weak or subject to hydrostatic pressure above 8 psi. Allow new surfaces to cure for 30 days. Clean and etch surfaces using a product such as a muriatic acid etcher to achieve a textured profile similar to 150 grit sandpaper. If the previous coating is failing or peeling, use a paint stripper to remove old coating. So those are the instructions for preparation there. For application, it says use product when the air and surface temperatures are between 50 and 90 degrees. Avoid applying in direct sunlight or to hot surfaces. Do not use if rain is expected within 24 hours. The surface must be completely dry before application. Avoid painting if humidity is expected to be greater than 80%. Intermix multiple containers to ensure color uniformity stir product occasionally throughout the application do not thin the product for nail holes and cracks up to a quarter inch completely fill in with textured deck over coating for using a nylon polyester brush and allow to dry prior to rolling deep nail holes and cracks may require additional filling we're going to be using some wood filler for uh, some of our larger areas Use pressure while rolling and apply a generous even coat using a half inch nap roller. For a smoother texture, use a brush or thinner nap roller. 
for extra textured finish, which is what we are doing. Use the extra textured roller cover. Spread rate will decrease on that, so we won't get as much coverage with it. But uh, this one can should work for both of the decks, the front and the back that we are doing. And for vertical surfaces, such as railings, use a nylon polyester brush or roller and apply two thin coats at a spread rate of 400 square feet per gallon. So if you're doing vertical application, it's actually going to do a much larger coverage than uh, things like this, the, the deck or the patio that you might be doing horizontal application. We'll go ahead and get started now. We're going to start spraying. Uh, both the decks using this all-in-one wood cleaner. Again, this is the number 63 because we don't have any paint on ours and then we can start working towards the application of the advanced deck over. This is our rear deck. It's not in near as good condition. We're also not done sanding quite yet on this one, but there's a lot more uh, weathering on this one so this one is not covered like our front deck is and that's why we're trying to apply this is give some additional protection that waterproofing texture so that you can walk out here barefooted uh, and it'll have a little some coarse textures to give you a little bit of traction and grip and preserve that wood for a lot longer So this is the extra textured roller. They have other rollers too, but they don't have quite as much like loopy Velcro like material. So it's a pretty cool roller and that's about $10 per. It's very thick. Here is the final look of the deck. Still got some other cleaning to do here, but if we get in real close, you can see that it has a very rough texture and it's filled in most of the holes. So we've finished up now. We have done two total coats on this. And so we used this extra textured deck over roller cover. Even just looking at our roller afterwards, it is very thickly coated and caked on. That would take a lot of work to scrape all of this off. It is still reusable, but just to give you the idea of how strong it is. It is very built on there, um, so very durable, and, and I think that this is going to be a very good product to keep this wood preserved for a long time. So I did a lot of the application. Uh, we know that Chris works, you know, a full-time job, so I did a lot of the prep work and the application on it. Uh, it was kind of time consuming, especially if your wood is really textured and you have a lot of like little gaps and holes to fill in. Uh, we actually went in with a paintbrush first to fill in all of the cracks and gaps and get a base coat on. And then our second coat, which two coats is recommended on the can, um, we did with the textured roller. I would say that if you're, you might need something like a smaller brush if you're going to get into the small creases in between your boards. Uh, that was a little bit challenging, especially with how thick the product is. I was kind of hoping it would just like drip down and cover. It does not. It stays put right where you want it. And so far it's been really durable. I did scrub the front deck a couple days ago with a bristle brush, like a a water wand cleaning brush that we picked up from Home Depot. Plastic bristles. Yes. And it held up great. There were no issues, no discoloration, no scratching. So, so far it seems like a really good investment. We started walking on it within uh, probably a few hours of application, just very light foot traffic, not full on traffic. That's but... not recommended. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, but it's held up pretty good so far even with that even uh, especially I think the first traffic that happened was the kiddos uh, forgetting which door to go through and it was probably only about 20 to 30 minutes after the application of it and they stepped on it and I had to uh, wipe away some of their the dust and dirt that they tracked up onto the steps but it was it was already dried enough that that did not make an impact and their tread on the shoes and whatnot did not squish it down or make it uh, or leave footprints or anything so about 20 30 minutes and it wasn't terribly hot that day so probably uh, 70 80 degrees or so and, and it dried pretty quickly i will say that the prep time on this was a little off on what we'd anticipated uh, we kind of figured we could go to the store get what we needed and knock it out the same day that was not the case uh, we ended up getting, as you saw earlier, the deck wash. So just plan that you're going to need one day, a full 24 hour period from the time that you wash it to make sure that it's dry before you put this coating on. Trapping moisture in your wood under this product is going to completely undo the entire point of having it. So be patient, let it dry. I know it's hard. We had to kind of redo our plans for that weekend because we were not aware of that time frame. So just keep that in mind when you're planning and maybe round up on your math a little bit. We kind of anticipated that we would be able to get both front and decks done on one can uh, based on the square footage that it said. I think since we were using the extra textured roller, our estimation was a little bit off because so far- Way off. He, yeah, it was way off. Uh, we're at about two and a half cans and I could still do touch up on some spots and probably make it all the way through the third can. And we weren't working with a huge amount of deck to begin with, so just kind of keep that in mind too. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Hopefully this helped you out and let you know if this is a product that you want to use in the future. Please subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. We greatly appreciate all of your support. The links that are in our description are generally affiliates links. So if you click on those, they really help us out and help us to continue making movies in the future. So uh, hopefully that answered all of your questions and was helpful for you guys. Have a great DIY day, team. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris.